Our new game is Pac-Man, which will build on some of the things we learned in the previous game and give us a look at wandering monsters. In the sprites I have a sprite player, which is 32 by 32, the origin point is centered, and the sprite is the animation sequence of Pac-Man, just opening and closing his mouth. I also have a sprite wall, 32 by 32, also centered, and then I've created objects from both of them. The object wall is solid. We will be turning off visible later. And then I've created a room called Room Level 1. A lot of this is going to be a repeat from the Sokoban game, so I'll go through this quickly. Let's open the object player. And the first thing we need to do is set the initial sprite of the player. So add event, create, come over to main 1, change sprite change it into the sprite player and I'm going to give it sub image 0 speed of 0. I have created the sprite so that the first image is the open mouth Pac-Man. So close that and now let's give it the movement command. So add event, keyboard, left. Because this is a maze game we need to make sure that we're lining up with a grid so that the player doesn't have to fidget trying to be pixel perfect moving around corners. So the first thing we're going to do is check for its alignment to the grid. Come to control, check grid, give it 32 by 32, click OK, bring in some blocks. You'll notice I only had the one sprite for the player, so to give it different directions we're just going to rotate it around its center axis. So let's come to main one, change sprite, we'll change it into the player, and so now we're setting it to a speed of 1 so that it goes through all of the images and animates. Next we'll come to control, set variable, we will set image underscore angle to 180 so that it points off to the left, and then we'll come to move, move fixed, set it to left with a speed of 4. Now we just duplicate this event, so duplicate, we'll set it to right, Duplicate again, set it to up, duplicate again, and set it to down. So let's select the up event. We need to change this to an image angle of 90 and change the move direction upward. Select the right event, change the angle to 0, and change the direction to the right, and then select down and change the image angle to 270 and the direction downward. Now again with a move fixed or a move free we are giving it a constant speed in a direction so we have to stop it. So let's come to add event, keyboard, and all the way down at the bottom no key. First we'll make sure we're lined up with the grid so that we don't stop between grid lines. Come to control, check grid, give that 32 by 32 bring in some blocks, come to main one, we'll change the sprite into player sprite and give it a speed of zero so that the image stops animating when we're not moving. And then we'll come to move, move fixed, select stop, speed of zero. Now in a Pac-Man game you can go off the screen and wrap around on the other side so let's go ahead and add that functionality, add event, other, outside room, Come over to our Move tab, and down here in the Jump category, we'll select Wrap Screen. Select both directions. In the original Pac-Man game, there was only the horizontal tunnels you could go through, but in your own game, you could just as easily make vertical tunnels. So to cover both contingencies, we'll just say both directions. And then finally, we need to make it react with the wall. So add Event, Collision, come to Object Wall. We'll check to see if it's aligned to the grid, 32 by 32. And then give it a move fixed of stop with a speed of zero. So now we can close the object and open our room level one. I've already gone ahead and added in some of the wall objects. I've also given it a black color background. So I'll go ahead and add in our object player and test the game. Okay, so I can move my Pac-Man, and when I come into contact with the wall, I stop. Now let's go through the maze. 
and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a bug. You can go up and right, but when you try to go left or down, you get stuck. For some reason it has to do with using sprites that have a centered origin point and snapping it to the grid. I'm not really sure why that happens, but there is a fix for it. So we can close this stuff and reopen our sprite player. And if we go into the modify mask, I'm going to change this from automatic to manual and I'm going to shave off one pixel on the left and the top. So just bring that in slightly. You don't want to bring it in too much, otherwise it might have problems with collision detection. But one pixel will be enough, so let's close this now and run it again. And we'll go through the maze, and this time I can go down as well as left. I'm not really sure why things get stuck in the first place, but just shaving off that pixel of the mask seems to fix it. So now we're ready to bring in a tile set and set up a real room.